Hey guys, technical difficulties. Thought I recorded, didn't have sound. Nice trick. Anyway, the brew pill. We were reviewing this Intuition beer by Daybreak, uh, Intuition Brewery out of Jacksonville by Daybreak. It's a, yeah, spin it around. Um, it is a ghost style ale, it's grapefruit ghost. Did you enjoy it? It was awesome. It is, I have to re-record it because, yeah, I'm an idiot. But anyway, I'm gonna do another one. The Jayville out of Jacksonville, we're going through the Jacksonville beers I bought. From uh, Engine 15 Brewing Company. And uh, it is, does it have a story? Does it have anything? No. No, it's just beer. It is a lager. That's good as gold. Good as gold. Is it good as gold? Is it just a plain lager? I'll be honest with you. I like it. It's nice and plain. It's a simple it's, beer. It's, it's plain. It's not much flavor there. Well, that's a lager, though. A basic lager. But. Thank you. Prisoner transfer. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, still doing these Jacksonville beers. We also had done a Buzz and Bee out of Veterans United Craft Brewery out of Jacksonville. It was the Honey Rye Wheat Ale. Spencer approves. Mother oh, snacking them off, sorry. It's okay. Mother tested. It is a. Uh, it's very honey. Mm -hmm. So this is going along with the New Year's night, and we appreciate you. Hey guys, I just want to do a shout out real quick. Because I screwed up my last shout out. Not really good doing a shout out if um, you can't hear any volume. But shout out to uh, starting off with Adam Neeson and Heidi over there at Spit Roast Podcast over there in Belfast, um, Ireland. They've already in a new year, so happy new year, guys. Happy new year. And um, still trying to get him to listen because he needs to get more into the Twitterers. I need a tweeter. All Joker. right. New Year's still, because it's not even close to midnight, it's 7.53. Central Standard Time. Wow, what do we got lady, next? What did girl. you pick? Um, I picked Oki Beer. <laughs> Show the people. Literally, that's the Polish translation. Okay Beer. So it's not your average beer, it's Okay Beer. I like the goat molesting the cup of beer. <laughs> How much percentage is it? <laughs> 5.6, I can see it over here. You're really slow. It's in the middle right there. Excuse me, I'm sorry. 5.6, you ready? Yes. Let's Since see if he 1845. likes... 45 Let's see if he likes this okay beer. And the verdict is... Kind of like the last one. It's okay. It's... The kind of like the last one? Yeah. There you have it, straight from the goat's mouth as he's molesting the beer. Mm -hmm. It's okay. All right, another cheers for the evening. This is a cheers to Mike and Katie over at Cup of Rad, right out of Canada. Here's a cheers. Have a happy new year. Thank you for always being supportive. I appreciate everyone who is. Um, I got to uh, listen to Adam Neeson because of Cup of Rad. So I've got two friends right there, straight off Twitter, straight off the podcast, and you've actually got to listen to some cup of cup of rag podcast, I think. Yeah. So I'm I'm slowly getting him out there in the social media, slowly. But uh, happy New Year, happy 2020, guys, from us, almost. <laughs> happy New Year's, guys. Going into 2020, still 2019 for. It's 8.22, so I think we're an hour later. We could be. Welcome to the brew pill there. I, uh, what what beer this, are we drinking now? I want to show you this beer we've got here. It looks like it might be some kind of hunter's beer, but really what we got here is, where'd you say it was from, Simon? I think it's from my wife's ancestor's homeland of Norway. Oh, right. I think it's, it's uh, it could be Canada, though. Um, no, um, brewed and bottled by two all at De Proof Brewer. The Crystal Belgium, it's Belgium, I'm sorry, I'm way off. It is a sour mashed pale ale brewed with elderflowers. 
elderflowers to say it's quite so, amazing. So let's try this amazing beer. Hopefully, had a it, lot of head. It, yeah, it came with a lot of head. You can really taste the elder flowers, Simon. Elder flowers? <laughs> Not the younger flowers, but the elder flowers. <laughs> it's got a... It tastes different. It's got a different taste to it. I like it. Yeah. It, once you get past that... Al almost. Not quite. Almost. Kind of like oh, kind of a ghosty. Almost. Almost. It's a sour mash, so very close. Check you in 2020. Right. We're at the Brew Pill and we want to say Happy New Year to another person, Jonathan Bell. Thank you so much. Um, you're the most encouraging person I've ever met on social media. Without you, I wouldn't get to hear your fabulous podcast that introduced me to Cup of Rad, who introduced me to Adam Neeson. And you're, you're so encouraging and uh, thank you and happy 2020 to you. I know you're in the next day or so, you're going to be traveling to Philly and some Actually, new adventures. Got something for you. Uh, we got the new Red Sun Superman coming out straight to DVD, the, the animated movie. I want to know your opinion on it, man. Please let me know. All right. We'll talk to you soon, Jonathan. Happy 2020. New Year's Eve. Still going strong. Yep. 10.05 now, so we're counting down the time. Central Standard Time. We are now doing Tin Roof. Yep. Rusty. <laughs> Juke joint IPA. He missed the whole joke. Yeah. It is a one from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It is, let's see how many. It's India Pale with a backbone, so it's going to be Christmas tree. I could smell it when I was pouring it. It's probably like a six. Yep. I don't even see a, a percentage because they're so afraid of it. If you're following us on Twitter, we just saw we got done. We just got done with the dirty snowballs. Um, we're now moving back on to the to beer. beer. Stay at home on New Year's. Have yeah. fun. Trick responsibly. That's not as bad as it smells. No, it's not. Or we're just becoming numb and numb to IPAs. I, I, don't, I don't think so. It's just, it kind of hits you with a little bit of the Christmas tree. A little bit. And then you drive That's right barely. on by. Yeah. yeah. You're, just like, you're, you're throwing the Christmas tree to the curb. Yeah. Now, I am seeing some floaties in the bottom, so I'm assuming as soon as we get towards the bottom, like probably just, about here. Just means uh, it's it, really brewed. It's going to get bad. That's my, mm -hmm. my theory. Let's see if the theory is correct, and we will see you. You'll probably watch this video in the new year. Yeah. We do appreciate you hanging around with us. Happy New Year. <laughs> okay, the night is going on still. <laughs> Good and, times of the brew pill. <laughs> and the brew pill. It is 10.34 now, Central Standard Time. And Spencer, what do we... I can't say this with a straight face. <laughs> I just about peed myself. Um, we've got... Yeah. Lecoq Porter. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up things without realizing what they'll sound like on camera. What is it? Oh, man. 6.5%. And I can't even read the story because it's in... It's in French, probably, because it's Le Coq. Yeah. Let's see if I can do it. My French accent, I'm really bad at this. I took two years in high school of French, so I can't remember any of it. 37 years ago. A le Coq a... No, this isn't... I can't do this. <laughs> wow. 1807, is there's a date. I have a thing. Oh, don't tell me there's a thing. Hold on a second. Pause this for the thing. Okay, um, so we've used this cool little thing on his Apple phone, which is a... It's a Google a Translate. Google. It's Estonian. And it's, um... It dates back to 1807. Um, roasted malt and caramel add the dark taste of lime to the Coke Pata Porter. They complimented... It's, this isn't a true Estonian. It's like there's uh, something. But, so let's see how it goes. It's got chocolate in it, it says. Yeah. So, so let's see. We're trying here. Just for you. Getting dark. Ooh. It's flavorful. La tasty. La tasty, La Coq. I didn't want to go that far. <laughs> <sighs> I think I got this at the ABC Liquors here. I think. 
Usually where I get a lot of my beer. We'll see you in a bit. All right, he's getting a little hooked onto the BTS. We're watching uh, Dick Clark's BTS Army New York New Year's Eve. Um, it is 11:09 Central Standard. We just uh, went through the Eastern Standard. Tried to do a, a a Twitter live video and failed miserably. I don't know how you did it so easily. It's because I'm younger and more knowledgeable with the technologies. I'm not a boomer. <laughs> But anyway, I am a millennial. But we're drinking some German beer now. Five point two percent. Some touche, touche, touche. Dunkels. Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen. Uh, Weizen Dunkel. In what percentage? It was five point two. Five point two. I like that. Uh, I love sorry, Hefeweizen. I like that Dunkel we had at. Uh, uh, Fockers. We used to go there and have fun. Oh, yes. Very full. Mm. The flavorful Hefeweizen. It's good. It's good. Hefeweizen is always good. Mm. So if you are in the Eastern Time Zone, Don't Happy New Year 2020. Mm -hmm. Arnold has really gone in Austrian like really bad Arnold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, we should do like a live video of us watching uh, Jojo Rabbit and drinking some Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen. Not with that accent though. Get in the chopper. That's the right person. Tell him to shut up. Finishing out 2019, it is 11.39 Central Standard Time, bringing you Tasty. Yes, that is Benjamin Franklin, the founder, of our, one of our founders of our father. father. Founding fathers. It's getting harder and harder to speak. Mm -hmm. Who famously said. It's a seasonal release of 6.8%. It's an IPA. Beer is by beer. 21st Amendment Brewing. Beer is proof God loves us. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, <laughs> oh it's going to be an IPA. Oh. Is it a Christmas tree? Really, that face? That's like a three. That's not to me. Now look, the, the, the bubbles are like still. That's crazy looking. <laughs> like the bubbles are still. Gelatin beer. Can you... I don't know if you could see that, but the bubbles aren't even moving. They're like sitting there. I wish I could get a zoom on that. I can't. So. <laughs> Happy New Year. We're watching Dick Clark's New Year's Eve. Um, They brought salt and pepper back for the Central Standard Time Zone for whatever he downed uh, it. Uh. Happy New Year, folks. <laughs>